It's been a while since I've uh, posted any Lego stuff on this channel, but um, the other day I decided that I uh, needed to do a new frame for uh, to put minifigs in. And one of my popular videos uh, from a few years ago was I used uh, an IKEA river frame like this. These are about four pounds and um, from an IKEA in the UK. And uh, if I got one of these and I could build um, a set of shelves in it um, using Lego um, to uh, display some minifigs. But uh, buying the Lego Technic uh, from Bricklink, although that was all right, uh, not um, a hard thing to do. It was a bit expensive. So I've come up with a slightly different design, which I've done my most recent um, minifig um, display units um, doing this way now what it needs is what it relies on is this wood um, now it's quite thin wood let's just measure it it's about oops look at that so it's about 5.2 mil wide which uh, is means that you can fit one of those um, bases on which is what's important so it's about 5.1 wide and uh, let's just have a look at that. It's uh, around about three mil thick. So uh, if you buy a strip of this, you need two shelves and a couple of uh, side supports for each one of these. So I think when I bought this, this is a, uh, I've cut this in half. I don't know. This is probably about two, three meters long from the shop. So you could do several um, different um several shelves just a piece of wood like that i think that was probably about three to four pounds uh, to buy that now the other thing that you'll need uh, definitely is a little saw to um to cut this wood with um and you will also need some double-sided uh, sellotape uh, i bought this the other day you can get this again from pound stores for about a pound this was way more expensive but you're going to be able to do uh, loads with this uh, with this reel so that's what you're going to need now optionally you could also use some um, spray paint like this you need uh, some gloss white and some primer uh, this one is matte black it's not the right primer but uh, again you can buy these from a Poundland pound store in the UK these are a pound each but if you're doing this and you're young it's probably best not to uh, worry about using this paint because it's a bit nasty uh, what I'll show you without using this uh, is probably the safer way to do it and a little bit easier right so first of all we've got to uh, just cut some of these shelves let me move that now at school I used to use one of these which is a little cutting block and they're quite useful it means you don't have to clamp it though this is one I made myself but maybe if you were doing this at school you might be able to go into the woodwork shop and um, and do a little bit of this yourself just cut this up that's quite easy so here's what we're trying to make we're trying to make two of these little um, side supports and then a longer shelf for the um, for the actual shelf now to measure this you actually need to if I just get this back again that needs to be the length of the gap that's inside the frame all right so uh, I will measure that for you in a second and uh, this these are ones what I've just done I've not done a fantastic job on this but I sprayed this with the primer and then I sprayed it with the uh, with the white afterwards you need to do that outdoors if you're doing it and put something over your mouth as well um, but so uh, you probably you don't need to do this and and I'll show you um, what it looks like just using the wood uh, today So let's just uh, put this in there and mark this up. Hopefully this works. Um, draw that across there. And I'll do another one of these little ones. One. Two. So uh, that's how much wood you need for one of the shelves. So let's just measure them. So the little bits of wood need to be about 67 millimetres long. 
you see there and then the longer bit of wood needs to be 215 if you just about see that 215 millimeters now these have to be exactly right you can alter uh, these little side bits a little bit if you want and make them taller or smaller but if you make them too small at this point this will give you enough room to put three shelves well two shelves which is three gaps to um, put your mini figs on which is about the right size you don't get many mini figs taller than that um, but you could go a little bit higher or lower on that but uh, we'll come back and show you how you use those afterwards so let's just cut a, a couple of these I'm just going to use a panel saw use that instead it's <laughs> Okay, there's two there, and uh, I'll repeat that for another set. Okay, so that's it for the sawing now, so I can put this away. So if you've got a little bit of sandpaper, you can just um, clear the, the edges off this. So let's do that. So again, you can buy lots of this uh, sandpaper in the, the pound stores as well. But I'll just put it flat and just clean up the edges. Okay, so here are the pieces that you need then for one minifig frame. So two of these and four of these side bits. So the next thing to do is put the sellotape on them. So this is double-sided sellotape. And apparently this is easy peel. Whether it is or not, I don't know. So it's going to be quite easy to do. So I'll put one across there like that and another across there make sure it's pushed down well and then I'll do the same with these side ones You can get wider tape as well, and actually the wider tape is uh, is slightly better, but this was all that I could get on this occasion. All right, so we'll come back to these in a minute, make sure they're all pushed down well. So now, when you get your set of minifigs, um, I can't remember which series this was. Someone will no doubt tell me uh, down below. Um, but they all come with these little bases. So uh, what you actually need is seven of these bases for every shelf. So you're going to need 21 bases in all. So you need seven across here. Like so. So there's seven now. Look, if you look at this, you can't fit eight in, unfortunately, um, but you can fit in seven. So what you need to do is try and get them as central as you can. So try and get the same amount of uh, a bit both sides, same amount of space both sides here. So then we peel off our sellotape backing strip and let's making sure it's in the middle just move one across all right now it's quite important that you get it lined up well that first one and get it equally at the front and the back but uh, once you've done that you can then just move along like so Now 
Now, one of the things I did do is put a beam of Lego across it as well. This is another way of doing it, just to make sure all of the little bits are lined up. Or you can get another one and push them across like that, just uh, because if that's the case, then you can actually stand a minifig on some of the two joining ones if you need to. But anyway, so that's one of my... Uh, that one's a little bit off. So that's one of my shelves. And I need to do the same thing on the other one. So I'm going to start raiding some of my bases from this. This is They're going in here anyway, so it's fine. So I've got two there. I need 14 more. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, there we go. So they're to the way at the moment. And do the same thing with this one. So I need seven. Okay, so that's two shelves. Now, what are you going to do with the third shelf? Well, there's two ways of doing this. You could ease, you could cut another shelf like so and have another one out of this piece of wood, or you could just stick these directly onto the bottom of the frame. So for this one, I'm trying to do it as cheap as I can. So uh, I'm going to do that on this occasion. So I just need to put eight more just on the very bottom bit of the frame. So let's get the frame out now and do that. This might be harder for me to film as well. Because they come in a... Uh, in this sticky pack, in this uh, plastic packaging. And what I've found as well is it's best to do this somewhere where you haven't been soaring, otherwise you're going to end up uh, getting dust inside the frame. But uh, I'm not able to do that today because this is where I film. So these little things come out like so. And that pops off. Let's do the bit of paper and then the backing frame. And what you can do then is lever this out. And this one's got a little bit of uh, dust in it. Oh, it's only dust, so I'll move that. And then put this somewhere. That's glass at the bottom, so I'll put that somewhere uh, out the way. It's not going to fall off your table. And then I can now, on this bit, put the cellar tape a bit more fiddly but put the uh, double-sided tape across the bottom bit. And now using one of these, you probably can't see that, but just using one of those to uh, line it up on the bottom I'm just going to pop the first one on. Like so, and then I can put the other six in. Well. All right, so that is stuck on the bottom bit and there are my shelves now. So here's how we build the shelves up. So if you remember, we've got these spaces as well. And uh, what I'm going to do is put those spaces onto the sides here. All right, you see that just about? They go into the sides. So let's pop those in, two of them in. And make sure it's all lined up and perfect at the bottom. And then one sticks in like that. See that there? And then the next one. Peel that off. Oops. Peel that off. Again, make sure you stick it in, in at the middle. And then that's on there, like so. Now, once you've got that, again, this is quite hard to show, so I'll do it this way. Once you've got those like that, then your shelf will stick uh, on top 
of your um, bit of wood that you've already put on there. So that's how it works. So we can put that one on. And then I'll stick, once I've got that one on like so, I'll then, in fact, I'll do it flat. I'll then stick these side ones on as well. And that should hold, the one should hold the other in. Right, so there's one. And there's the other one. And make sure that's pushed on there. Obviously, the more tape you can put on the side of that, the better. And if you want, you can just run a bead if you've got a glue gun. Just run a bead of glue um, either side of it just to hold it in a little bit more uh, uh, stronger. And likewise for the top shelf, the top shelf will just fit on there like so as well. And uh, the way I've done this, it leaves a little bit more for any tall minifigures you've got just at the top. But uh, that can just either sit on the top like that or you can just put a bit of sticky tape on the side, which is what I'll do this time just to hold it on there. So uh, let's just do that. So this time I'm going to stick the double sided tape so that it hangs over the edge a little bit. Like that. And then that will fold over and that will help it stick at the side a little bit better. Let's do the other side before I uh, get it all too sticky. Of course, you could do all of this with a glue gun if you wanted, but doing it this way means if you ever change your mind, you can uh, take some of it uh, out as well. You can take the, the pieces back off. Oh, and just another little tip. Uh, notice some of those are a bit dusty. Um, and if you get a, a brush, it's quite easy, wonderful way to get dust off Lego. You just put, you're just rubbing it with a brush. With a brush doesn't damage the Lego but it gets all the dust off it right so let's undo the backing paper both sides right and I have to be a bit more careful with this and gently just pop those in and then it will just hold it all in place so there you go. Now that really is the basis of the frame. So all I have to do now is pop that back in the outside frame and then start to put my minifigs in, remembering that I need to put the minifigs facing out. Um, so the other way to do it is to um, populate your frame. Um, with the minifigs first. So here goes. Sometimes you can even put the uh, ones with extra accessories. You can pop their accessories next to them as well if you want. There you go. Now obviously in this set I've only got 16. There's a space for a couple more. You can also make the minifigs um, get much more closer together. So if you were just displaying ones that weren't in a set, um, you can um, push them close together. You don't have to have just one on each, um, on each of the little base plates uh, as I've done it here. All right, so that's all my minifigs mounted. Now I just need to carefully transfer them back into the frame. Whoops. There you go. Sometimes it won't work. 
and uh, then what I do with this I put this back in paper in first like so then put the card paper in and then the back in um, board in afterwards and just bend the uh, these bits over all right then so hopefully if I'm careful now none of them will fall out and there we are um, my minifig case I put that paper in the wrong way because I've got the barcode on but anyway let's not worry about that uh, but there you are a cheap uh, way of mounting your minifigs for about £10 if you're doing two maybe about £15 you might have to pay but if you buy two or three uh, frames then you can use some of the bits that you uh, that you buy to mount them.